Hello everyone, this is Blender Guppy. In this video, I'll be discussing the quad slice operator in Creative Flow. This can also be found in Random Flow with the same function. Its main purpose is to help you quantify mostly angular models by projecting cuts from vertices. There are two types of direction you can use for the cuts. First is the tangent, which is the direction of the longest edge in the face. If, however, the longest edge is slanted, you can use the rotation property to align it properly. The tangent property also allows you to change which tangent to use for the direction. These are all gathered from the selected vertices linked faces and their tangents. You can cycle through these before modifying the rotation as a last resort. If the tangent uses the longest edge, the view direction uses the viewport to establish the direction of the cuts. The orientation of the viewport relative to the face determines the x and y axis of the resulting lines. The only caveat is that you must maintain the orientation of the viewport while modifying the redo panel because if you change the view, the cut lines will change also. There are three origin types which determines where the cuts will come. We have the verts, edges where you can also affect the offset, or tagged. For the tagged, this means tagged vertices which can be done using the tag verts operator in edit mode on selected vertices. Using quad slice again with tagged as origin, you can see the cuts only come from the tagged vertices. The geometry property lets you select which parts of the topology is affected by the cuts. Selected affects only selected faces. Linked faces will affect only the faces linked to the selected faces or face island. And all faces will affect all the faces in the mesh. You can also limit the cut going in the XY axis using the tangent or view direction as is Cartesian or 2D plane using the limit property. Next, we have the rotation which allows you to rotate the cuts from its initial alignment. The orientation of the rotation also follows the tangent direction you are using. The operator can also work on vert selections that doesn't result to a face selection. You can cycle through the face property to choose which faces to cut. This is also the same for edges where you can also offset the resulting cut. Finally, we have the distance property. This removes or merges lines depending on their distance to their neighboring topology. This is great for making a really tight or crowded topology after a crowd slice operation use fewer edges and faces. You might have to do a simple cleanup afterwards, but that's easy enough to do. This can also be used to clean the cuts when using it in random panel results from random flow, where the borders are angled. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to use the comment section or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.